I can't make this any more clear. This is the Notion setup that everybody needs. We've shown you how to do quick capture on the go. We've shown you how to do amazing things within Notion. Using the Notion app system, I have managed to build out so many different things. If you buy the Notion app system right now, you'll get a course called Mastering Notion, or you can get it on Skillshare. But regardless, you're gonna get every single template I will ever make ever if you buy the Notion app system. So definitely a value prop that I wouldn't scoff at. Just like I wouldn't scoff at this mobile Notion setup. So it is no secret that I have this little widget scenario, right? On my homepage, and that's cool and all. We like it, it's fine. But what if we wanted to make these mobile pages even better? What we can do is we can actually change the functionality of this setup in a few different ways. We go back here to the views section. What we could do is take one of these templates really quick. So let's take the quick capture one, let's duplicate it. And we could make it quick capture. Let's like get rid of this view here. And what I would recommend that you do is take whatever baseline information that you want, whether it be the quick capture uh, like this, where it literally connects to, as you see here, your actions page or your inbox. We have this as an option. So this is the number one thing you're gonna think of. All right, so let's, let's make this as a mobile quick capture view that is actually, believe it or not, gonna be archived and out of sight. We're gonna do mobile, right. All right, so quick capture, I'm gonna do this. Okay, you'll see what the reason is in a second here. So we're gonna have this guy. Then we can do the exact same thing for something like this actions page. Okay, so we're gonna actually, obviously it's gonna be mobile. The view status is going to be archived. We're gonna hide this, take it right here. And say for example, you had a system where you had a grocery list. Right, so for me, I do have a template that you would get for free, the Notion app system, as a meal planner. So if I set this up really quick, meal planner, carrot, okay. I'm gonna change this name to meal planner, a little carrot action. I pasted this template in, just like this is how it works in the NAS. Just paste in your different templates, wait for it to load, and then turn it into text. Okay, turn this into text. Now, you see there's this grocery cart section, right? Kind of a big brain idea here, but what if the grocery list section specifically, every time within this block was a synced block? Boom, that's right, absolutely right. Take this, put it in here. Now, copy the sync block, paste it in your mobile view. Boom, works in both sections. And then, let's keep this page, let's duplicate it. Then we're gonna make an ideas page. A little bulb action, okay. I'm gonna delete this out. And then we're gonna go to the second brain, a little toggle, ideas for a mobile quick capture. We can do slash synced block, ideas, copy and sync, boom. And now you see where I'm heading with this. So then what we can do here is we could favorite this page, put it to the top, go back to the other one, meal planner, favorite this guy, go back to the other one and settings, should be here. We'll go views, archive views, look in the mobile section. All right, we got quick capture. So we can also favorite this guy. But then we go to edit home screen, add widget, notion, pick the favorites one. I'm gonna show this over here. And then we got three really quick opens that connect to something that is much simpler, as we can see from the quick capture perspective in our actions page, when we go into there, we'll have example stuff. Then in the meal planner, so in the meal planner, we'd have this in both sections. If I wanted to check off that I had the almond butter, be right here. And then in the ideas section too, in the second brain, be able to quickly write some examples down, down here in both spots. Now what you can do is obviously get rid of some of these headers and stuff if you want to make it even like simpler of a setup. I just have a weird affinity for that kind of stuff. So yeah, you just literally would go into your mobile, pick whatever one it is, open it up, and then it syncs up both ways. That is way quicker than working with databases. It's such a hack. Don't know why people haven't tried it out. And I also don't know why I hadn't thought of it earlier or why you haven't checked out this video on how to improve your productivity even more.